Update is brought to you by Safety Insurance. Hi, everybody. Chris making it in the WBZ studios right now. Mayor Marty Walsh is giving an update right now ahead of tonight's storm. Let's go ahead and listen in. And getting ready for the storm and, and removing the snow from the streets. It's the time, the time of it. I mean, having a storm at 2 o'clock in the afternoon is very complicated. Winner, Thank you. Uh, complicated in the middle of the day. Um, you know, you have people working. We have school in, in session today. We have a lot of folks that are around there. So having a snowstorm in the middle of the day on a Tuesday makes it more complicated. I was just saying the way down, I think I'd, I'd much prefer a, a kind of start at 5 o'clock, go through the night, allow us the opportunity to, 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 to plow the streets and get the snow off the streets. Charles, are you concerned about the, the buses being on the road at that time of day? There was, uh, yeah, we, we can't. Unfortunately, in Boston, we don't have the opportunity to, to release early. We don't have early release time because of scheduling and buses and things like that, transportation. But that's why we've been out there a little extra early today, pre-treating the roads and making sure there's enough salt on the roads. Uh, and then at, at 1 o'clock, 400 more pieces of equipment going to be hitting those streets. So we are going to try and stay ahead of it. Uh, I think it's good. A lot of people seem to stay home today. Uh, they didn't come out. And, and I'd ask, encourage any employers out there, uh, let your employees leave early so we can keep the streets clear. I mean, right now, you can tell looking around, there's not a lot of cars in the streets. But if we can keep those streets clear to allow buses to get home, uh, that's something that's important. We canceled all night programs in our schools tonight, so that's canceled. And then as far as tomorrow goes, right now there is school in the city of Boston. But what we'll see as the, as the day goes on, I mean, this is supposed to be gone by, I think, stop snowing by 7. Should give us enough time, turn to rain and, and ice, give us enough time to clear the roads. But by, by 6 o'clock, we'll have a good understanding of what the roads look like. And if we feel there's any safety risk at all, uh, I always side on caution, the caution side. And we'll look at what, what, to, what to do with school tomorrow. You couldn't do a half day at all? No, we don't have the ability, not, not, the, not the way that, that our, our transportation works. And that's one of the complications that when we had our situation uh, last year, we tried to change the start times. One of those was to try and maybe, could we come up with a better system if we had to do early release? Yeah, what about city employees? You mentioned some companies that might move well earlier. Are you city employees? As of right now, no. We have a full day in City Hall. I mean, we still have people coming in and people still take the train in. As of right now, we haven't done that, but we're going to have a conversation in a, early this afternoon to talk about what we should do with our own employees. In terms of school, because of the time of the time of the is there a heavy thought for that school? No, no, not really, because I think, you know, m most of, a lot of the, more than half of our kids will be released by 2, 2.30, so we will have a lot of our kids out of schools, and it just makes it very complicated. The, the big issue is going to be about tomorrow. Are, are we, you know, w I'm being told that, you know, this time tomorrow we won't see much snow on the ground, but again, it depends on, on the winds, the, the, the snow lingering, all of those different questions that the meteorologists will be following them and tracking them and seeing what they say before we make any decisions on that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the study was interesting, um, you know, the, the, uh, we're, we're dissecting it and looking at the analytics that we use in the traffic. I, I know that I've talked to the mayor of L.A., and, and you know, I, I'm not quite sure whose traffic is worse. It doesn't matter. We have traffic on our streets. So we, we've instituted a lot of changes. We've instituted uh, over five, five, five and a half miles of new bike dedicated bike lanes in the city of Boston. We're looking at signalization in the city, having better analytics for our signalization. Uh, the study really, really talks about the way the study's broken down. Uh, you know, we have a major airport in the city of Boston that adds to the traffic. 50% of our drivers uh, don't drive every day, so we have a, and we have an older population driving. So all of those are taken into account of what the study is. Uh, but but we do have traffic. There's no question about it, and we're, we're working on it every single day. Mayor, you underscored the fact in, in the thing that you wrote. You underscored how this study really amplifies the concerns that you have, whether it's. Uh, Weather changing and you're throwing all this traffic. It's the weather, cool. yeah. It's the weather changing. It's it's the old infrastructure we have. Uh, it's the it's the, the signalization infrastructure we have. It's the fact that you know Logan Airport does add significant traffic to our roads, into our tunnels. Obviously, um, having you know 100,000 new people, 120,000 new people working in the city in the last five years adds to our traffic. So all of those factors add to it, uh, and, and we're, we're constantly looking and evolving on, on how do we make sure that we can relieve and relieve pressures of, of pressure points. I mean, public transportation is something that the state is going to make an $8 billion investment in, something that's really important to, to, to have more confidence in our public transportation system, where people take public transportation and fewer people are, are, are coming in, and also carpooling. I mean, that was a big issue in the 90s. That was a big emphasis on carpooling. It seemed, we've seen we've gotten away from that, trying to, you know, rather than have, you know, 10 cars driving into Boston with individuals in them, if we have two with five, that would make sense. What, you got so many people. Yeah, a lot. 
It is. Well, it's not We've been listening Boston. to Mayor Marty Walsh give an update here ahead of the storm talking about Boston Public Schools in the city of Boston, urging people. I try to talk more regionally, and it's a regional area. And we talk about traffic, it's regional as well. So the impacts are not just in Boston. I mean, the cities and towns around us feel the same impacts. So who do you need help from, I suppose? What, what is your solution? Well, I, th I think it's just constantly making the investments and making the changes that we're doing. And I think that you know having a partner in the state and, and, and local governments is important for us moving forward. And we have to continue those partnerships and, and continue, continue not just planning and, and planning for the future, but actually implementing what we talk about. Mayor, it looks like over your shoulder we can see that the uh, construction may have started on the uh, following floor. Is that indeed the case? In, in well, we're working on, uh, we have two, the two sites with the two bombs going off. Uh, we're working on a, a memorial there. Uh, so we're hoping to have them um, have them installed by, by the marathon. Um, right here, Marathon Sports, and further down, uh, the Old Forum Restaurant. Uh, we're working on, the design was picked, and we're working on implement, instituting, uh, implement, in, in, installing them, I should say. Do you think they might be completed in time for this year, I think so. Uh, Thank you. Yes? All right. Thanks, everybody.